everybody and welcome back to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, that means that you either saw my thumbnail and were like, bless her heart. Or you're like my friend or my family and you wanted to be kind to me and watch my video. So if either one of those are you, give me a thumbs up. So this video is going to be me um, laughing at myself, I guess, a little bit on how I did my makeup then versus how I do my makeup now. And um, this is not like one of those where I legitimately go in and do a makeup tutorial on how I did my makeup then. This is just a picture that I found of myself that I'm kind of making fun of. <laughs> and But I really am going to probably do one like how I did my makeup in high school versus now because like my techniques have drastically changed. But if you want to know how I got from <sighs> to now, then <laughs> just keep watching. So this first part, typically in these videos, they do the whole, oh, my makeup then, and they go through the entire makeup routine. Well, my makeup routine lasts about like two seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my makeup when I was 12 years old. Actually, I just turned 12. I was freshly 12. This is like fresh 12 right here. This is the fresh 12, that's what I'm calling this. I was obsessed with Avril Lavigne at this stage of my life. Um, I was not aware of the curse words that she used in her music. For some reason, all the songs I listened to bleeped it out. <laughs> and um, anyways, I actually remember this day. I had just got out of the shower and I went into my mom's bathroom and I took her eyeliner pencil. And I went in my room and I shut the door and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make myself look like Avril Lavigne. You wouldn't know I was trying to be Avril Lavigne unless I wrote Avril on my forehead, which I did. <laughs> Pretty much, this makeup look is gonna be the easiest one you ever do in your life. You get you some black eyeliner, a pencil, some gel liner, a black eyeshadow will work, or whatever you've got to write on your face with. So <laughs> I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner, and I am, I'm gonna, you know, do the Fresh 12 here. Fresh 12, here we go. So, the very first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to line your eyeballs. And that is really going to make you look like Avril Lavigne. If you line them eyeballs, you're, everybody's really going to know that, oh my word, she has the best Avril Lavigne makeup. Do you see how grungy that is? That is perfect. So, here's the first step. You just take it and you go ham under here. You go like this. Blend it up. Look at that. I'm, I'm Avril right now. Gonna do the other side to be Levine. All right, here comes Levine. Whoa, would you look at that? Okay, now this next part, I don't really know what it is. I'm, it might be like a tear dripping down my face because I'm so sad, but who knows? Who knows? It might just be liquid gold running down my face. We're gonna pretend it's that. So we're just gonna go, whoo. Oh my gosh, look how perfect. All right, so now, so that everybody knows that you are Avril Lavigne. You you just have to write it on your forehead. It's, it's the easiest way to do it. If you go out in public and everything, nobody's really gonna know what's going on in your face. Like they're gonna, they're gonna think you had an accident. But if you just write Avril on your forehead, mm -hmm, that is the way to go. <gasps> Pillow. And you have to do it backwards now. You can't, you can't be writing it forward and everything. Otherwise you're gonna be a Rovola or something weird. So, make sure, make sure, <laughs> that's like an old man, <laughs> okay, that our kind of looks like it's got a problem going on, so we're going to fix that. Now, this is, you got to pose so that everybody knows that this is the Levine part, like this is the Avril part, this is the Levine. Don't know what that is either, so like, that's pretty much it. Probably the easiest makeup tutorial you've ever seen. This is so funny, but like when I looked at myself in the mirror, I just like pictured my 12 year old self going, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so moving along to my makeup now, I'm pretty much just gonna do like a little added makeup tutorial. Um, the first part was just a little bit of fun, and now I'm just gonna do whatever. I'm actually gonna try to make it as glam as I can, I guess, just to really amplify my makeup now. I don't know, I'm just gonna play around. I'm just gonna have a good time, I'm gonna chit chat with y'all and just talk a little bit, I don't really know. So I'm gonna start out using the Maybelline Baby Skin to prime my face and I'm only gonna place it, I found that when I like use concealer or anything on top of this, it just kinda moves around, my eyes look kinda creepy, don't they? Um, I'm just gonna put it underneath here, 
to fill in my pores in my nose, on my forehead, and down here. And then kind of like blend it into my small lines a little bit. And then we're just going to like start pressing it in. Alright, now for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Glow in the shade Creamy Natural. And oh my gosh, I love the way this makes my skin look. But I have to be careful and not use too much. Otherwise, it kind of breaks up on my face if I'm not careful. And then I have to like be careful where I set my foundation with it. I don't need to like set it everywhere and like really pack it on. Otherwise, it just kind of like breaks up on my face. But it just looks so, it makes your face just look so healthy. Like out in the sun and everything. It's just beautiful. So, I'm just going to be using this little brush and buff it in. You know, you know. You like my little ring? It's a little robot, like a little mood ring thing. We got it at like one of the little stores around here. And uh, it's like $2. But I thought it was too cute. Concealer, I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, <laughs> Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. This stuff is super thick and it a little goes a long way. But I'm just going to start doing this with it and blending it out, you know, you know, just like a lot of there. All right, and so on this nose, I'm going to leave it for just a second and I'm going to use the RK by Kiss Pure Mineral Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. And I'm going to contour with it. Oh, got it all over my palette. I'm going to contour with it just on the edges of my nose right here. that and like that and I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit up in here right here and right here and on that same brush I know the same brush I'm literally just gonna like tap and tap I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Palette and then this just blending brush. This is by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here. Tap off that excess. And we are going to blend that into our crease. Next, I'm going to pick up this darker shade here on a Zoeva um, Lux Soft Crease Brush. It's just a little bit more defined. And we're going to take that and put it kind of just into the crease. Not going to be blending it upwards or anything or making it a transition. Just raw on her. Okay, so now going in with that same brush, we're going to be picking up the matte black shade over here. And not very much of it, as you can see, just a little bitty bit. And we're going to be popping that onto the... Oh, my hand is like shaking. I don't know why. On the outer little V section here and just focus that in that one little area blending it out do not um, worry about blending that up or down just right here now on just like a little flat synthetic brush whatever kind of flat little brush like this that you got and the hard candy setting spray I'm gonna be spritzing that little sucker getting it a little bit wet we're gonna be taking the BH Cosmetics Supernova palette I don't even know what shade I'm gonna use yet Let's see I got like a so, I'm going to be picking up the shade Aries, and this is this like kind of darky purple kind of shade here. And then I'm going to mix it a little bit with Neutron, I think. I think that will give me like a kind of a shade that I want. And I'm going to be popping that onto this outer portion of my eyeball right here. Right where that smokiness started, and then right in the inner corner. We're going to pick up the shade Celestial. Lock that. And we're going to pop that on top of it. Maybe that, yeah, that brightens it up a lot. Okay. Perfect. Now, spritz the brush again. And I think we're going to go in with the shade Phoenix, which is this super bright, like a gold shade. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. And we're going to pop that on that center corner here. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. Yes, that is very pretty. <laughs> Did I just answer myself? Did I literally just talk back to myself? Whoa, that's cool. Yes, that's pretty. <laughs> oh. Now I'm actually going to take my foundation brush and kind of like stipple in this area and just clean up any of this outer 
portion that I want to clean up or any fallout get it gone okay now so for the lower lash line I'm gonna go in with this even smaller brush this is the number 234 Lux Smoky Shader by Zoeva and I'm gonna do the same thing as far as these go I'm gonna pick up this shade tap off that excess and just run it along the lower lashes like that pick up the darker shade like that and then we're gonna pick up that black and only put it on this outer portion of it right here okay so I'm just gonna spritz this brush and get it a little bit wet and I'm gonna pick up that same Phoenix shade the nice and pretty gold shade and we're just going to line it along that part of the eye like this first inner third part of the eye. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper and we are just going to give ourselves a nice pre wing not too thick because we don't want to hide what we've done because my eyes are so small but just thick enough okay so pretty much we're left with something like this right here and I'm cool with it I'm very cool with it it's not the liner is not like too intense so what I'm gonna do now oh I need to put the cap back on that before that dries out I'm gonna go in with some mascara this is the Rimmel extra super lash lash building mascara and I'll be honest I bought it because it came with two in the pack and it was only four dollars <laughs> but it's really not that bad of a mascara I'm gonna lightly coat my top lashes with it just like this raw hair and get enough product on there Okay, I'm gonna go in my bottom lashes. I always have to clean this up. Like I can never have a perfect lower lash mascara application. Like it is just non-existent for me. I don't know how people do it. I don't know. So I'm gonna be using this little Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm gonna be taking the Zoeva number 101. I think it is the, it rubbed off a little bit face powder brush and we are just gonna dip it in there just a little bit not that much oh my goodness oh my goodness okay hang on and I'm just gonna start setting my under eyes like that's mainly what I like to set and where I've highlighted just because that is areas that can get a little bit oilier throughout the day and tend to slide off and then the rest of the face, whatever powder's left on it, I'm just going to do this with and not really worry about. So now for contouring, I'm going to be using the Profusion Contour Palette. I got this for 10 bucks at Walgreens. Actually, I got it for 5 bucks. It was on sale. And I'm using the Zoeva number, I don't even know, it's the Lux Cheeks Finish Brush. Using it to contour with, whatever you got to contour with. I'm going to be using the shade Walnut. And we're just going to start carving out them cheekbones. Alright, so now, with just a little fluffy brush, really I need one a little bit more dense than this, but I'm going to lightly contour my nose with it. Going down just like that. So now for blush, I'm going to be using the Revolution Shimmer Brick in Rose Gold. And I'm just going to take this little thing I got it at Walmart a long time ago brush, and I'm going to take these darker shades and just swirl those together, tap that excess off, and apply that to my cheeks. I love this. It's just such a pretty glistening. Uh oh, it's, they're so sh like they have a really pretty sheen to them, and like the color of them is just phenomenal. So if you're in on the lookout for a palette that you can use as a blush and a little bit as a highlighter, this is the one to get. Highlighter. I'm gonna be use the Hard Candy Setting Spray. Oh, <laughs> I just sprayed the camera. So, I'm going to be using this little white shade in that same Shimmer Break palette, picking it up, and I'm also going to be using this shade in the Contour palette. And it's going to be quite intense, but I'm just going to do like a strip of it, and then come back and blend that out. <laughs> Now for brows, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Brow Mascara in the shade Blonder Over Yonder. And I'm just going to run this through my brows first. 
A lot of people like to do it after. I, like, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I just find that when it's like got like a little sticky base, it's easier to like work with and put them in place rather than putting them in place like after I've already drawn them on. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. And then to fill them in, I'm taking the e.l.f. brow kit in the shade a lot and start working this into my brows. Creating a pretty little shape. Okay, so now that we got all that done, we're going to go in with some false lashes. I've never used these before. I went and got them because I was out and Walmart really didn't have the kind that I usually use. So, these are the Kiss Looks So Natural in the Style Flirty. So, but they, they look kind of natural, but they also looked kind of thick. So, I really wanted to see how they looked. These might be my new favorite. They might never be used again. <laughs> oh, they're pretty dramatic. They're just not long like I'm used to, I guess. Okay, so now we got these bad boys on there. They're actually pretty nice, but they make my eyes look super dark, so it's like really hard to see what's going on underneath them. But that's just, you know, that's just what you get when you got little small eyeballs. So, let's see. For lips now, the Buxom Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Centerfold. I'm literally almost out of it, but I'm gonna use what I got left. It's just been my perfect little shade for when I'm not really wearing much makeup. I put this on. But I think I might actually go over this with a gloss. I think I'm going to use the Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss in the shade Taupe With Me. And I don't even know if they still make this, but I've got it still. So, well, it really doesn't do much. So, that's nice. It's just a nice little clear kind of gloss. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did give me a like and subscribe and especially if you want to see some cool like DIY videos, some vlogs, some makeup tutorials, some pretty much everything, anything that I would like to post, I post it. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you all had a great day and God bless.